Hello my crafty friends. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry and I'm here to do a flip through of this Barbie journal. So this is the first Barbie journal I ever made and it's a Barbie journal because it was made from a little golden book, a Barbie book, and it's called Barbie and the Secret Door. This is a little goodie pack that I'll show you at the end of the video that will come along with this journal. So this was made, I call it Traveler Notebook style because it has these elastics that um, allow you to remove the signatures or pages or rearrange them, things like that. And I'll show you that as we go through it. But let me just show you the cover. This is the uh, closure, which we'll undo in a minute. I've got a pretty charm here on the front and it's just hanging from a bullpen there. And then I've got this gorgeous uh, fiber and ribbon tassel. There's some rick rack in there and it just matches the colors beautifully of this cover with so many colors in it too so in the back is the original cover and it has a, a cluster here covering with a little applique flower covering the barcode so let's open it up so it just opens up with this elastic here and you just flip it around and you this tassel is removable it's on a pink pretty pink notebook ring here that you can open up and take off if you would like but it does flip up out of the way so when you're using the journal it is up out of your way so you open up and I have put some pretty scrapbook paper here and you saw well on the outside it's got you know we uh, of course saved the little golden spine there by making it into or I guess it was a spine and we folded it in and made it into a new spine for this journal as far as the way we folded it in like that and then inside the spine I have reinforced it and added this pretty pink fabric there's some gorgeous um, scrapbook paper here on the inside of the front and back cover the same paper and then a pretty pocket here with a tag then this I made out of it is um, made from a clothing tag I, I received with, on a piece of clothing. I thought it was so pretty. And the minute I saw it, I said, that's going in my Barbie journal. <laughs> so it has a pretty, I added a pretty uh, piece of ribbon here on the top. This little word I added, sunshine. And this beautiful girl is on there. And I backed it with some pretty paper. And you can write on there. It's light enough to write on. So that will be right here in this pocket. And then I did use some pretty scrapbook papers in here and I clipped lots of goodies. As you can see, I have a lot of my paper clips here with clipped. That means there's a something, a goodie clip to it. And by goodies, I mean drawing cards and things. So here I've got a pretty um, drilling card that you could glue here if you wanted to or put somewhere else in the journal. It has writing space on the back, but it says be your own kind of beautiful. And then on this side, a pretty pocket. I used some of this trim here on this pocket and this is a little belly band here on the pocket and uh, it's got a little tag or drilling card there just in that belly band in the pocket I have some paper this is actually planner paper here which I have a couple pieces in here and I like the colors <clears throat> excuse me of this to go with this uh, journal so I stuck a couple of those in there for you and then I also have a couple pieces of paper that are pink lined paper uh, to go with the there's a lot of pink I noticed in the cover so I did use a lot of pinks in here so those are nice writing spots this is a little envelope I had made out of some sewing instruction paper it's sewn together and then it has some decoration on it this is a little sticker that is a looks like a wax seal I did add a little stamp right here. It's pink thread. I used pink thread throughout. Whatever, wherever you see sewing in here, I used pink thread. Uh, on the pockets, or most of the pockets, I think all of the pockets are sewn with zigzag stitching here down the side. And then in here I have a drilling card made out of some of this, uh, like a little scrapbook paper piece. And that is right in here. Oh, I meant, didn't mention the little doll sticker there too that I had added to that envelope. This is a pretty piece of paper I had in my stash that I just made into a, a 
page because it was so pretty and the colors and everything. I added a little tab here, a little whale tail tab with a London vintage London postcard there. You can see this was from a calendar actually. That's part of the calendar page on the back. Just some pretty um, notebook paper here with the pink decoration. And this is a little piece from the scrap of paper I was using in the ephemera. It says live in the moment. All the pages from the book are in here. Uh, I added this pretty trim to this page with a couple of the little shoe charms that I showed you in one of my Thrifty Thursdays. They're right here hanging on a pink safety pin. And so all the, all the pages from the first signature in the Barbie book are right here. And then I have the second signature in the second signature. So I kept them together so that means the pages are in order. And then I have a little heart sticker right here on this page. And so there's the pages from the first signature right there. Then a pretty piece of scrapbook paper with some flower appliques. A pink piece of paper here with a pretty butterfly. Scrapbook paper here, sunshine day it says there. And another pink applique flower. This is just some pretty uh, computer stationery. And on this side a pocket. I've got a pretty um, envelope here with some drawing cards inside. And then this is an, a coin envelope decorated with some sewing instruction paper and the sewing pattern ladies there. And inside nothing <laughs> but if you wanted to put something inside this actually would fit in there I just left it out I guess but that is pretty a pretty envelope you can use and then that drawing card here I just added this piece of um, probably was a scrap and I made it into a little trim there for this page butterflies this is just a bookmark I put in here um, whenever I see them at thrift stores I pick them up and I believe this is a Mary Inglebright one with all its bright colors. It's a nice little bookmark. A pocket here. This is that kind of plastic scrap of paper or acetate scrap of paper that I was talking to you about and I've been making pockets out of it so it's zigzag stitched up the sides here. And in here I have uh, this little, it's a drilling spot where I have it closed with a ribbon and it just unties and then it unfolds and you have lots of writing space. So that will be right in that pocket for you. And you can actually do whatever you want with something like this. You can cut it up and make other things with it. Use it as it is. You know, just whatever whatever you think of is what you can do. <laughs> whatever you imagine. I just thought it was a pretty journaling spot. Fold it up like that. And the colors. I love the colors. And I have a little bow just sitting outside like that. So you have something to grab and pull it out. And that's the center of the first signature. And you see here's the little elastic that I was talking about. This is a nice strong thick elastic that I used in this journal. And uh, so you have this whole two pages to put something on. And it, all the pages are completely removable if you wanted to take them out, rearrange them. Or anything like that. I've got a little sticker here that says Charming. And this is a journaling card made from an envelope, but we made in a video on one of my on one of the scrappy Sundays I've been participating in. Scraps on Sunday with Denise at J Denise Junk Journal UK. And then this is a journaling card. It says summertime on it. And those are in here. You can slit those envelopes open and make pockets out of them too if you wanted to slit the side. Just cut a little sliver in the side there and then make it into a pocket. I've got a pretty paper here with this trim. It says Hello Sunshine and things like that. Pocket here with a little booklet. And one of the keys that I've been putting into my journals that I've got these at a thrift store. I thought they were cute. Enjoy. I added this little piece here. Enjoy the simple life. So that is in there like the key to the journal, right? <laughs> And then here, a little applique flower. That's that pretty computer stationery. 
This is the back half of this, sec of this first signature. So you see on the other side of these papers, some more applique flowers there. And the other side of the pages that we saw, I added some purple rickrack here on this one. And then the other pages that we saw in the first half. Here's a flip up here. And I left the, op the back open right here. So let me see, what can I put in there that will remind you that it's open in the back? Uh, I think that's too big. Let's put this little card in here, a little journaling card. I'm going to put this right here, and then whoever gets this journal, this will remind you that there's a pocket back there. So I'll be sticking up like that. I probably meant to put something in there and forgot. It was there. <laughs> Here's a new little pocket here with some of that pretty trim. And this is a coloring book page that you can color. I think, oh, I think there's two here. No, they're just thick. It feels like two, but it's just one. But isn't that pretty? I don't know if somebody, um, I think somebody might have started coloring in this coloring book. So they've got a start on it there for you. And then you can leave it like that or you can finish it. I think it's really pretty the way it is. But of course, you can finish it if you would like. Okay, second signature. I did put a little uh, frame here. So it says today is going to be the best ever. And it's just, it is glued down. So it's very, it's, I think it's really, really cute. A pocket here with some pretty trim and a few pieces of tag there another little tag this one is made from made with tissue paper uh, I think scraps of tissue paper and then a pretty ribbon and uh, it's been distressed it looks like this is a little sewing lady um, this was the packaging that I made into little notebooks so you've got some drilling space in here and then just held together here with a, I put some fabric on the top with this little ribbon. Very cute. That is in there. Here on this page I have, a, it was like a scrap that I just folded over the edge and used it as a decoration here. And then on, on this clip here, I have, it's a little clip uh, made out of a uh, tassel. And... It's decorated with a tassel and then there's some writing paper here and then this is uh, over the page a little scrap paper that I made into a drilling spot and then this is a uh, pink vintage uh, bridge score sheet I think those are gorgeous I love the color on those it's pink and red pink with red printing and and lines and things just so so I love those <laughs> love them and then the more pretty scrapbook paper over here with a this is a belly band that I made out of some tickets well this is the sweet life it says in here a decorated guest check got a little applique flower there at the top and then this says you are sweet silly funny happy the best <laughs> and this is a pink guest check in case you can't see that it's uh, lightly light pink made sure I use the pink one for this one. I have the green ones and the pink ones and the papery ones and this is the cardstock one. Pretty pocket here with an applique flower and some pretty trim. Uh, nice card that you can journal in or use for, as a card if you need to send somebody a thank you card or use it as a gift tag. The pretty butterfly I decorated that and then this is a little uh, envelope that you can put together and do what you wish with it. It's a whole little envelope kit kit and uh, it's got a dried flower in there or a paper flower a little tag this is especially for you some jute twine and envelope is made out of this craft card stock that you can open up and journal inside and you know or you can glue it together as an envelope just a fun little project there here on this page this is that pretty pink stationary paper from a notebook and there's a pretty little piece I put here a little flower and this is a balderdash score sheet on, and they've got a de decorated paper clip. These are the uh, pages from the book in this signature. Very pretty pages. Let me see if I put anything. Oh, I put a little sticker, a little flower sticker here on this one. And the pages in here are gorgeous with the colors and everything. That's why I decided to make this one into a, um, go ahead and make this one into a journal. Instead of just selling it in my shop. Of course, the ones I put in my shop are gorgeous too, but I just thought I need to make a journal out of one of these instead of selling all of them. <laughs> so I sold all the previous Barbie books that I had, Barbie Little Golden Books. 
a beautiful piece of stationery here and a pretty heart fabric tag backed with file folder it's sewn around and then on this page another a uh, couple of those uh, little charms that are like look like Barbie shoes it's on a brad so it moves back and forth and then this is an envelope let's see this is a drilling spot uh, I can't it's over the page you'll see it in the back when I turn the page this is just a pretty envelope I made out of some scrapbook paper and in here I have some of these little sales tickets for you um, I decorated them with little stickers on the top like a little tag topper so that's the green with the little pink tag type or topper. They're little stickers. And there's that one. And there's that one. So adorable. I'll make sure you had them all in camera there or in frame. So cute, right? I think those are, I love those. I just got those. I showed you those. I showed those in my uh, one of my recent uh, Thrifty Thursday videos. Hopefully it's been uh, published by now and you've seen those, <laughs> but uh, that's a little sticker that says beautiful there. This is that over the page journaling spot I was talking about. There's a well tail tab here on this beautiful piece of camera, uh, camera, calendar, <laughs> calendar paper. Uh, the pocket here in the back with this acetate, like I was talking about, I've been making pockets out of, so, out of these um, pieces of a 12 by 12 acetate that I picked up at a thrift store and this is a little sticker that says special in here is another one of those fold out drilling spots that I just showed you in the first signature so I won't unfold that one but that one is in there for you and then you have pretty scrapbook paper here in the middle and you can see the zigzag stitching with the pink thread there and there's that elastic again so all the pages are removable a calendar page with a bow my husband's doing the dishes so I'm not complaining right <laughs> a bridge score sheet here so this is a little like a little note pad I attached here to the top of this page so it's got some it's stapled on but I have a scrapbook paper covering the staples there so it's pretty and this is a some pretty kind of a uh, beige or a crew colored bridge score sheets and there's one two and I think is it two or three two or three uh, sheets I guess it's two they're so thick it feels like I need to turn another page but nice paper there to write on and then over here in the pocket next door we have oh there's a little shoe here I must have dropped that but I'll leave it there for you I'll put it in the pocket It'll be down in this pocket right here. <laughs> I might put it in the goodie bag so it doesn't get lost. How about that? So I'm afraid it's going to get lost down in there. But anyway, here's a pretty card. It came, I believe it came with this envelope. That's why I have it together. This is, uh, it does open up. And see, it does, this does fit in here. And this is a pretty flower card, pretty pink flower. I thought with all the pink in here, I had to put this in here. It's so beautiful. And then here's the, the rest of the back of the pages that are in this, this signature. So I put some purple rickrack on this one. And then here's the beautiful Barbie pages here, the rest of them. I did put some trim on this one too, this pretty pink uh, kind of fringy trim. A little uh, kind of tuck spot here with a tag in it, a little circular flower tag. This says sunshine in my soul. It does go through like a belly band. See that? So if it, you can put stick something through there. Or just I just tucked it down in there. On this side, uh, this is a game score sheet called The Game is Payday, apparently. So that's a good writing. That's a nice writing piece. If you want to write on there, it's fun to journal on something different. Little butterfly here with some of that pretty heart trim ribbon. And this is another brown, uh, score sheet, bridge score sheet. I have some of uh, these neat little craft pieces. They're craft colored and they're, they're that craft kind of a, a, you know, a rougher paper, but really neat. I, I kind of think those are really neat and different. I really like those. 
And then this is just a pretty notepad paper with a pretty yellow flower on it. Vintage, I'm sure. Everything here is from a thrift store pretty much, except for the scrapbook paper. Some of the scrapbook papers I've bought new, and some of them I've bought at thrift stores. But no printed, nothing printed in here. This is a uh, Cluedo score sheet. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Something fun there. Uh, I guess I mentioned the pretty butterfly. This scrapbook paper right here, I think, is from a thrift store. And those acetate sheets are from a thrift store. So most of the scrapbook paper in here is... I think this is this was new, but it, you get the idea. Some of my scrapbook paper is new and some of it's thrifted. Pretty little piece here, decorating. Here in this very back, I have a... Um, this is a sewing pattern envelope with the ladies here. Aren't they cute? And I thought they reminded me of Barbie, Barbie dolls, so I put that, that here. I just thought it was uh, just a pretty pretty thick, um, envelope to put in here. And I just glued it on the back of this page. And in here, uh, it is a pocket, of course. And you can see that fits right in there. And then I put this cute little vintage birthday card in there with this adorable uh raccoon i believe that's a raccoon <laughs> almost looks like a squirrel with that long tail but that long fluffy tail but i think that's supposed to be a raccoon anyway this is such a cute card so you have the little sentiment here and so you could write on this or do whatever you want but this part is supposed to be you know you're supposed to give this to a child and uh it does does it have a date it does not have a date on it but the child that is it's a little game right here for the child that this was going to be given to uh if it was ever given to a child but it says find all the words in this picture that begin with b isn't that cute the answers are right here and you could color this if you wanted to um or paint it or whatever you want but that's i think that's just an adorable card so that is in there and oh i put the no that's the paper i thought i put an envelope in there too Nope, nope, just a card. <laughs> okay, and then, so, um, that was next to the last page. This is the last page here, where we have, this is decorated with that pretty ribbon, and sewn, you know. And then we have an envelope here with, this goes with the stationery. There's stationery that was, that pretty stationery I already showed you. It was like a bigger piece of this. That stationery set had the envelopes, had that bigger piece of stationery, and it had these little note, like note papers too. And I think those flower, that flower card might have come from this whole set, too. It was a nice little set I found at a thrift store one time. I love it when I find stationery because I don't find it very often. The back pocket here. And I've got a little... I love the way I did this pocket. I glued the flap down so it would just be a whole decoration as well as a pocket. And then I've got a little notebook here with the sewing pattern ladies on. They just all remind me of Barbie, so I thought, why not? use those in here so let's look at the goodies real quick so when you want to close this up you just put your elastic back around here and there you go all ready to go easy as that easy peasy and in here of course that little tag I showed you with the little Barbie boot little Barbie boot a piece of this is a, that was my husband he's he's noisy what can I say <laughs> I'm the quiet one he's the noisy one <laughs> A scrapbook paper. <laughs> I guess he's making dinner too. I mean, you know, I'm not going to complain. He's doing the dishes and making dinner. So what do I have to complain about, right? Uh, little tiny journaling card there. I'm including these stickers. I went to the thrift store and I picked up uh, th three things of stickers. And I put one in each of the last few journals I did. Uh, I put one that was travel related with the travel journal. I put one with some other journal that I did. I don't remember now. And then these I'm putting with this. Because they're all pink and pretty and you know, like there's butterflies and flowers and I thought these would go great with the, with the, um, here's that little boot I don't want to lose. But uh, I thought these would be fun with the, uh, the Barbie journal. Some, if I have paper scraps from a journal I usually try to include some with, with the journal so you'll see some paper scraps. Here's another one. Pretty strip here. I usually need to fold them in half to get them in an envelope and send them on their way but here's some more pretty ones here 
And then I did from that pattern envelope, I included the instructions here and the tissue paper that was in there. All of it is right there. I didn't keep any of it. I don't need it. <laughs> so hopefully you can use it. And then, oh, there's a little piece of fabric from the spine that was left. A little square there you can make into a cluster or a tab or something. And then three of my little strips that I like to sew together. I tried to pick out some that would go. I got glue on my finger that's driving me a little bit insane. <laughs> but I tried to pick out colors that would go with this journal. So lots of pinks and reds and greens there. But this, I mean, like every color just about goes with this journal, as you can see in the cover. You've got blue, you've got yellow, you got pink, you got purple, you know every practically every practically every color so anyway i hope you enjoyed the book making and uh flip through of the barbie journal and it will be in my shop when you see this video and stay tuned for my next project and i'll see you then everyone have a great day